Hello and welcome to another webcast for Tomorrow's World. I'm Adam West. Thanks for joining us. If you're a fan of science fiction, you know what a cyborg is. If you don't know, what is a cyborg? And are they becoming a modern day reality? The Merriam-Webster Dictionary defines cyborg as a person whose body contains mechanical or electrical devices and whose abilities are greater than the abilities of normal humans. Now, how many of you remember the Six Million Dollar Man television show starring Lee Majors? He was a fictional bionic man, costing what is now a less than impressive six million dollars. Or, well no, more well known, might be uh, Darth Vader of the Star Wars franchise. Are these bionic modifications relegated only to the land of fiction? Well, today, medical hybrid human technologies do exist. Even my own grandmother had a cochlear ear implant, a genuine bionic ear. CNN published a, an article titled, U.S. Military Spending Millions to Make Cyborgs a Reality on March 7, 2016, revealing that, quote, the U.S. military is spending millions on an advanced implant that would allow a human brain to communicate directly with computers. If it succeeds, cyborgs will be a reality. The goal of the proposed implant is to open the channel between the human brain and modern electronics." End of quote. Now, while the research is initially intended for injured veterans, the article reports that some experts see battlefield applications. The implant, no bigger than two uh, stacked nickels, would potentially work in conjunction with an already developed armored exoskeleton on the field of battle. The modified soldier would have a tactical advantage over their merely human adversaries. Now, that being said, some are skeptical, arguing whether this degree of integration is even possible. One thing is for certain, the continual challenges of modern warfare are a significant motivating factor for advancing cyborg technology. Man wants a real tactical advantage. The United States military is dumping up to $62 million into making biological, mechanical, hybrids, cyborgs a reality. They want to wage war at a higher, more, dare I say, sophisticated level. Now, those who anticipate the soon coming reality of the kingdom of God on this earth should recognize the source of the real tactical advantage we can have as human beings. The Spirit of God is the tactical advantage you and I need to fight spirit battles against our real enemy, Satan the devil. Heightened discernment, right knowledge, sound wisdom, genuine power, increased love, deeper understanding, and enhanced self-discipline are just a few of the modifications added to our normal, natural, human capacities upon receipt of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit, however, is not a person. Rather, it is the very power of God. It can elevate our existence and add real purpose, vitality, and meaning to our lives. Consider what the Apostle Paul told the young evangelist Timothy about the Spirit of God in 2 Timothy chapter 1 and verse 7. For God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. You need this power in your life. The Apostle Peter in Acts chapter 2 and verse 38 tells us how it is possible to receive this power. Then Peter said to them, Repent and let every one of you be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins, and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. Understand the real battle that is waging even now, the battle for your mind. Read our inspiring booklet, What is a True Christian? to learn more about what you can do to arm yourself against real spiritual enemies. Man's insatiable quest for warfare will never result in genuine happiness and peace, but God's Spirit dwelling in you can. Thanks for watching, and I'll hope, I hope you'll check out the, all of our eye-opening materials at tomorrowsworld.org. Until next time, take care.